What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Mike, this is the Ultimate Tech Hub. Thank you for joining me, you guys are awesome. So guys, on today's video, we're gonna show you how to configure static IP addresses on a Windows computer and a gaming console. And in addition, we're gonna show you how to pick the perfect IP address for your situation. So let's get started. So first, we're gonna do static IP configuration in Windows. And then we're gonna do static IP configuration on a gaming console. And we'll do that on a PlayStation 5. So first thing we wanna do is go to router settings. Then go to local network tab. And here you'll find the DHCP server. You wanna take note of the start IP address, the maximum number of users, the subnet mask, and the IP address range. And also take note of DNS1 and DNS2. You can see that we use Cloudflare for our DNS server. And there'll be a video link right here you can watch later that fully explains this DNS. But this DNS does block malware and adult sites. Pretty cool. So all the information you see here will allow you to make valid static IP addresses on all your devices. So now go to your desktop and then go to control panel and then go to network and internet. Now go to properties. And from here you can see all of our network information the IP assignment, which is automatic, and the current IP address. Now hit the back arrow twice to network status. Then go to change adapter settings. Right click local area connection, then go to properties. Then click on internet protocol version four, IPv4. Then go to properties. And here is where we input the static IP address. And now you wanna click on use the following IP address. So now, here's where the IP range comes into effect. When creating a static IP address, you want to use the higher numbers and the IP range, because the higher numbers will not be used when DHCP automatically assigns new IP addresses. And remember, our current lease time for these IP addresses is 1,440 minutes. So every 1,440 minutes, DHCP will assign new IP addresses, and it will start handing out IP addresses beginning at the start IP range, like 100, then 101, then 102, and so on. So make your static IP address far away as possible from those ranges. But the IP address has to be within the IP range. So we're gonna use 192.168.1.200. And that's 100 IP addresses from the IP address start range. And when DHCP hands out new addresses, it should never get close to our static IP addresses and we can create over 40 static IP addresses in the 200 range. So now use all the information that we gathered from our network settings in our router, like the subnet mask, default gateway, and remember your default gateway is always the first IP address. It's the same IP address that you use to access your router. And also plug in the DNS numbers and then hit okay. You've now created your first static IP address. And this can be done on all your computers, laptops, tablets, phones, and even gaming consoles. Now that you made it this far into the video, let's create a static IP address on a PlayStation 5. So go to Network Settings in your PS5, click on a wired connection, and go to Options, Advanced Settings, then go to Manual IP Address Settings. And once again, here you'll plug in all the numbers, IP Address, Subnet Mask, Default Gateway, Primary and Secondary DNS, and this address was created using a different DHCP range. For this IP address, we chose 192.168.1.131. However, if you use the previous DHCP range that we used in the Windows computer, this IP address could be 192.168.1.201, or 202, or 203. So it's simple, plug all the numbers in, and then hit OK. You now have a PlayStation 5 with a static IP address. And this static IP address is fantastic for port forwarding. So guys, if you found this video helpful, please give a thumbs up and share it. And make sure to hit subscribe to keep this channel alive. And I'll see you in the next video real soon. Peace.